Hi everyone, welcome back. I plan my classic happy planner for the next week, which is gonna be April. And first, um, I used August of 2020 because I have like a couple sections and I didn't have a couple of April's monthly sections. I don't know why, but I don't. So I just used this to be able to track the monthly part because August of 2020 has the same dates as April. So like April 1st is on a Saturday, same as August 2020 apparently. But I don't want this to look like the other half of this. So I just got this, I guess is uh, 2020 shoes something, but it ended with like a happy notes page. So that is gonna, I'm gonna glue these two together. So that's gonna be the other half of this thing. So I'm gonna do that in the planner because I find it's easier to line them up. Okay, then we just turn this. It helps if your planner is not super full, but we'll get it lined up and then push them together like that. And that looks really good. So now we'll take these papers out and decorate them. Okay, um, yeah, so I'm just going to use a seasonal sticker book. Uh, it's got this page with, like, bunnies and stuff. Uh, Sunday is Easter, so we'll just do that and make a cute little decorative spread, hopefully.
um, that's where we're going to leave it. Um, it's super cute. I used the seasonal sticker book from a while ago with Happy Planner. Oh. <coughs> so, I have this. Um, this side I'll just use for, like, uh, like, list, to-do list of, like, supplies I need or some like uh I think we need like library books or something to go along and this side is like activities that we're doing so this is like like what you know like okay I keep using this activity but like you build like a volcano and then like okay so we need like baking soda and vinegar and we might have like a library book about volcanoes so that's how I use uh the dashboard layout so that's why I can get away with like kind of more stickers and I don't need, I can, it's not even a lot of stickers this time because it's just two bullet points, but like that's all I need is two bullet points to make sure that I have space to write two activities for each day. So, um, I know sometimes that's not really helpful because you're trying to write a whole schedule, but, um, it's still like kind of got space in there. If you want to use this for inspiration, um, yeah, and I'll see you next time. Uh, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Bye!